Today is Mardi Gras, also known as Fat Tuesday. It's a very busy time for many local bakeries. An Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead digs into this sweet treat of a story. Winter can be a hard time for many small businesses, so Fat Tuesday falls at the right time. We spoke to business owners about the impact of the celebration. It's one of our biggest days, uh, especially in the middle of the winter. It's very nice to have a, a big day like today. Barber's Bakery has been around for 108 years, but there's no day quite like Fat Tuesday. Everybody comes in and asks for punch keys and fashion donuts. It's a great big day because tomorrow's Ash Wednesday and everybody's celebrating today. It takes a lot of hard work to get all these tasty treats looking this beautiful. This work starts days, even weeks in advance. At Barber's, some family members came in all the way from California to offer help in the kitchen. It's my mother's time of the year that they always help. You know, the family here has been working together for quite a long time. And when we have big events, we like to help each other out. Tell me what you're getting for Fat Tuesday. Uh, we're getting Boston cream donuts. The loyal customers keep coming back year after year, keeping the doors of Barber's Bakery open. Coming here, you get just great pastries that every time I walk in, I'm just like drooling. My stomach's way bigger than my eyes. It's like a, a trip to New Orleans here in Carbondale, Pennsylvania. So whether you call it a foshnot, a bunchki, or just a plain old donut, it's time to dig in. In Carbondale, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. Well, Fat Tuesday, of course, coincides with Lent when many people decide to give up sweets for about six weeks until Easter Sunday.